Hi guys, Melvin here. In this video, I will show you how to automatically run a Python program or script in Linux startup or boot time. So in this video, we will see how to automatically run a Python program in Linux or Raspberry Pi or Jackson Nano. This is mostly used for robotics projects or any project that needs automatically running Python program. So let's go to the video. So to automatically run Python program in Linux, there are multiple ways. I will show you the most stable and easy ways to do this. First of all, I will show you the easiest way to do this. So first of all, open the folder where you have saved your Python program, which you need to run on startup. So this is the program that I want to run. I will uh, run it and show you now itself. What is that? That is. This is the program that I am gonna run. This is an application type of program that is used on T -tinger, uh, t uh, based on T Tinker on Python. Let's close it. Mm. So why I am using this uh, program because uh, the pro other programs like some programs that are not displaying anything on your uh, screen that that programs may not r uh, that may run in the background may not show you show up in the terminal way so when we run it automatically it what happens is it is will be running but you may not uh, see this the program running so uh, when you are using in raspberry pi or jackson nano to control leds or any electronics or for robotics projects that will be fine you can uh, see that come uh, the commands will be running in the background but you can interact with the commands uh, interact with the commands and the program by electronics or anything that will perfectly work but when you are doing like this uh, I recommend you guys to use a GUI type of application or I sometimes use OpenCV uh, or anything like that to uh, make sure that the, the program is running. So now I will show you how to run it automatically. Now I am using Ubuntu XSCV version. Most of the OS have startup uh, manager type ST startup manager that will be this for uh, in my this is written this is the startup manager in my this is ubuntu xsv version most of ubuntu also have the same type of startup manager this is my startup manager go to application auto start here and add uh, press on this add so you guys can see name description command and uh, uh, on login or on like that uh, things are written so now i will give name just like python app i will give python app and the description also I will give python app uh, 1 I will just like give like that now the command the command is what we need to give now what I will do is open this uh, give this properties of the f uh, f uh, python program and copy the path copy path and go to the startup manager now paste uh, type python 3 and paste that come uh, path over here give a space between python and python 3 you guys can see space and forward slash again now copy the name of the file that we need to run copy it and paste it here okay now i have pasted the complete uh, command over here now when this command is running uh, when it automatically in now i have given login so that it will start on start uh, on the startup it will automatically run I have given ok and it has been added over here you guys can see that now let's close it so now we restart our computer it will automatically run that com uh, program on startup if you guys need the program that I used you guys can go to my github and t uh, link in the description go uh, download this uh, geo.python uh, over here and some instructions are given in this you need to install this python tinker to use that uh, file now i will show you what happens when the computer restarts so i have just restarted my computer now you guys can see how it will automatically run the python program on startup now you guys can see the login screen wait some time before login so that the program will automatically run in the background now let's login give your password and login 
so now you guys can see the program has automatically started this is how it will start when you restart your computer if this video helped you make sure to subscribe to our channel and like this video if you are interested in robotics we have a telegram group in the description we have a community of people uh, interested in robotics so join our telegram group so let's go to the second method in this method we will use linux shell scripting way to automatically run python file in linux so first of all to do this i recommend you guys to go to my github link in the description okay in my github you guys can see how to automatically run python from download this uh, by zipping uh, download the zip or copy here and clone it by git clone git clone and paste it over here paste the file and it will clone automatically now type ls and let's see where it is yeah this is the file so i uh, i can do it in a uh, terminal way but i am now i'm going to show you graphical way so that most of the people can do it some may not know how to run terminal way so this is the file that we have just uh, extracted from the github we need uh, in this method we are using shell script i already told you guys the uh, this is the shell script i am using so make sure that you have both your files um, your python file and the shell script here like this and copy those both of this copy and now i'm gonna add it to your desktop for uh, for you guys just you can add it in your home folder home or desktop anywhere now i'm gonna paste it on desktop uh, okay now open this file in the editor in any editor uh, okay so you guys can see these three commands are here the first command is for ba opening and starting the bash and setting a second command is for python environment setup and the sec uh, third command is to run the python file so this method is really useful i mostly use this method because i can run multiple python files at a time after the one had completed then a uh, next program will run i can do that uh, by this comma away so this is literally better to do if you are doing any robotics project or any project on raspberry pi so i will show you so now the folder name is like this uh, make sure you change it to your folder name from the properties of the file python file which you have to run by copying the path the location over here to okay to the editor here yeah paste it over here paste and a forward slash again now uh, i am using this file if you are using any other fi uh, python program you guys can uh, name it over here change the name over here and okay uh, if you are using the same file as me the ttinger uh, to try it out make sure that you have installed this ttinger by uh, using this command over here uh, type this command over the terminal and enter and uh, put your password it will automatically install it it's already installed in my so that it won't install now but it will automatically install on your computer so that you can use the same way as i am doing so now save it by uh, closing it just and give save it will automatically save now what you need to do is what we have done later before opening the startup manager you need to type yeah startup manager is here and go to application auto start add the uh, here you had and give in, uh, give the name so if you have done the later uh, other time then the, uh, it will be already taken so type another name like python now i'm gonna hit app 2 for now and also python app 2 here also and now the for the command to command we need to give us sh that means it's a shell script so we, we need to give sh and copy the path of the shell script this is a shell, a shell script so properties copy the path first then go to the uh, here paste it over here and make sure that you have put a space over here last time as python file also put a space between that sh and uh, the path and uh, put a forward shot and copy this file name and then paste it over one minute paste over here control plus v so we have pasted it. all the things have been pasted now and give it on login now give ok now you guys can see this has been added over here now let's close it 
it will be uh, so when now when you restart your lab uh, pc or uh, injection nano raspberry pi this command will automatically run so then you may think then login is login important in here okay when you login uh, before you log in also the program will be uh, running in the background so uh, if it's like a program for controlling LEDs or anything it will be fine it will work and work fine everything will be running if you are using any camera program also it will work in the background when you log in you can see that in the screen but it will be back already working now I'm gonna give autumn uh, now I'm not gonna give automatic login I will show you guys um, in the automatic login way uh, if you need to change the uh, login also you can type uh, user in uh, yeah for my it's user some uh, it may be um, another things also so if you need to change or uh, ask me on login change it to uh, do not ask on login you can do that and make sure that it, it will change change to auto login so that uh, when you enter the, it will be automatically logging I think this method will work on most of the Linux PCs because this is a shell scripting way so that it will uh, mostly work if we, this method doesn't work make sure that the python program is perfect and or try my program that i have written this gu application from my github so that it will help you guys so let's see how it uh, runs in the startup so i have just restarted my computer now you guys can see how it will automatically run the python program on startup now you guys can see the login screen wait some time before login so that the program will automatically run in the background now let's login give your password and login so now you guys can see the program has automatically started this is how it will start when you restart your computer if this video helped you make sure to subscribe to the channel and like this video if you are interested in robotics we have a telegram group in the description we have a community of people uh, interested in robotics so join our telegram group see you guys in the next video bye